Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today we're doing a brand that I don't particularly like, but review is a review. Gotta do the review. So today we're doing the Rojas 10th year anniversary. Right here. Now, let's quickly get into, take a look at this cigar. All right, so this cigar is Rojas 10th year anniversary. 6x50 Toro is the size. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Um, from they say that they are sourced it from Oliva tobacco. So it's probably gonna taste like Oliva. And didn't disclose the binder, but just say that you know fillers are grown in three different regions of Nicaragua. Okay. MSRP is $15 and they made 3500 boxes of 10 cigars. Now, this particular wrapper. It's a really rough, like really, I don't know. Would you call that sandpaper feel? <laughs> it feels like a really, like, I don't know, like a 1000 grit sandpaper. So we'll, we'll see if it's good. And it has a semi close foot. So, all right. So let's get started. All right. There's a sweetness came from the foot of the cigar. Um, smell some woodsiness and something else. I just can't tell what it is. Like raisininess, maybe? All right. All right, and the cap decided to just unglue itself directly. So this is what I'm talking about, right? When you cut it, right? You can get the entire cap up like this because there's no more glue there. There's no glue there. So, even if you had a cap, it's pointless. I'm just going to remove that cap because it looks like it's got a leaf roll over that. So, it's, you see that? So, it rolls over and there has another cap under it. Like, I don't understand that a little bit, but sure. So you decide to glue a cap on, and then you glue the side over, and then you glue another cap on there. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's a very floral... Grape, wine, barrel, tastes like. Have a little bit of rose taste to it too. I don't know what that is.
Barnyard, Woodsiness. Charn, chocolate, just a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of hay, a little bit of coffee. Pepper now. Pepper. Alright, pepper starts to come through. Pepper. Wow, I can't even say this tastes bad. Like, I mean, I don't like the brand, but right now it tastes good. So, $15. Let's see if we can get to $15. Smoke one third. I'll be right back. Okay, so one third. A little bit more than one third. It's actually pretty good. Um, Tastes like... Dark chocolate, cocoa, with some pepper, and some black cherry, and marshmallow. There's definitely marshmallow, uh, marshmallow uh, sweetness. And at first, that marshmallow was bitter. And then um, I keep smoking it. I took a sip of my chocolate, um, chocolate cold brew. With the pump of Daytona. And that kind of washed off that bitterness. And then after that, marshmallow was easy to tell. It was like right after that, puff marshmallow. And so I stopped drinking that. Maybe thinking, it's like, oh, maybe that is really making the thing sweet. So I stopped drinking that. And now it's marshmallow is still sweet. So not too bad. Uh, about medium right now. Pretty light. Uh... It's mostly sweetness because you got the black cherry sweetness, you got the dark chocolate sweetness, you got the uh, marshmallow sweetness, and even though it's three sweetness, it does end up with a little bit of bitterness, which is fine. So, so far, so good. I kind of like it for some reason. I'm going to continue to smoke it. It wouldn't be a lot because all I have is this much to smoke before the last year. So. We'll be right back with last we'll see if it changes anything. I doubt that's gonna change anything. Or I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I actually smoked just at past the band kind of thing. So here's the first band anniversary, 10th anniversary. There we go, 10th anniversary. Now, I, I know a lot of people start using purple, purple looks good. So, no complaint there. I don't like it that it's a paper thing. I don't like this gauge of paper, I don't know why. They don't, they don't always come down evenly, but this one did, so no complaint there. Second, third, uh, strains are still about medium. You get a little bit more something else. You get like graham cracker crust kind of sweetness to it too. So, so in addition to all that, you get that. Pepper was not long lived. Like there's not much pepper going on. So it was, there was nothing going on on the pepper side, which is kind of weird. It's a habano, isn't it? But yeah, there's not a lot of pepper, but you get a lot of sweetness. You get a lot of different, you know, graham cracker, chocolate, cocoa, dark chocolate. Um, and you get you get um, black cherry. You get marshmallow. There is a little bit of charness somewhere in there, um, and a very subtle earthiness that you can barely taste, but it's there. Only with the bitter notes. But it doesn't last too long, so it doesn't bother me or anything like that. So I'm okay with that. Other than that, yeah, that's the second third. Second third is still pretty good. Second third is still pretty good. So we're down to last third, and then uh, we go to summer. Be right back. All right, I'm done. Finished. Last third. The last third flavor could completely change. It went to a earthy, earthy, nutty, bitter plus sweet kind of blend. I don't know if I like it or I hate it. I don't like the earthiness, obviously, but that there's a little bit of saltiness too. So that saltiness with the nuttiness is kind of nice. It's just like that earthiness. It's like, Ugh. but the nuttiness is like, yeah. So I, I 
I don't know what to say. I, I would say that that's break even for me. That's just break even. All right. Anyways, the Ben. Rojas. There you go. Totem, Totemente Hencho Miles. I don't believe made by hands, I guess. That's what I'm saying. There you go. Not bad of color selection for this one. Cigar itself is pretty good. In spite of that last third. Still medium. I, I don't think he feel I, I I never feel like that was over any over the medium at all. Or even medium plus. So it's pretty good cigar. Flavor is relatively enjoyable. Only bad thing was that earthiness. But this like I say, I wasn't sure if I like it or I hated it. Like it was it was doable. It was like borderline or it was borderline or and once in a while, it still get covered by like a cocoa, raw cocoa taste. All right. In terms of the price, $15, $16, no problem. Yeah, it did, it did give me $15, $16. Even if I didn't like the brand, the cigar did give me that enjoyment. The cigar did give you, you know, $16, $15, $16 worth of enjoyment. Tastes pretty good. So I have to be fair. They, they, they are giving you what you're paying for, right? Uh, the cigar gauge is relatively small, so it doesn't burn very long. Uh, or else it'll probably get higher. But I, I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. So I liked it. It was pretty good. With that being said, yeah, go get one. Go try one. Um, yeah, I... I, I the cigar itself, I can't say anything bad. I and mean, even if I don't like the brand, cigar is cigar. So, gotta be fair with that. Cigar is cigar, $15, $16. And that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, um, listen to our podcast, check out swags, and deal with our early access membership and all that stuff. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.